Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings, where last episode we expanded our holdings a little bit down over this way, and that is absolutely great. I just went around and determined that unfortunately we don't have any other legal claims, so we can't do any additional e expansion at this moment. I did, however, ask me to be notified when the invitation for claimants is available. So we'll be notified of that and we'll hopefully be able to use that to do some more expansion. For the time being, we'll have to chill. And that's pretty expected. So that's great. There's apparently a disillusion faction against us. We'll see how real that ends up being. But for now, I would very much like to finish off our constructions up over this way as we work towards being able to get level four castles. So that'll be absolutely great. We know that everything over this way is already all maxed out. So there's nothing to be done down here. Down here, there's things to do. But this is all currently constructing. If I recall correctly... I, I, let's not become a cannibal, thanks. Uh, these ransoms are probably acceptable. Yes. Yes. And yes. Okay. So we can't upgrade this currently because this guy's the wrong culture. So, can we revoke this title? It was granted recently. Oh, right. This guy's the correct title, or the correct culture. It is this guy that's the wrong culture. We could demand his conversion. In fact, his conversion was just demanded. He just converted over. But that doesn't actually fix our problem here. We need to get this entire county's culture converted over. This guy's culture is going to be ultimately a problem as well, but for the time being, it will be reasonably fine. So we're working on converting over here. I just want to double check all the way up this direction. We can get this camel re-upgrading. Unfortunately, this guy is the wrong culture, which is very sad. But the rest of everything that is over this way is maxed out, so that's good. There is this location here, and that's it. We just discovered men-at-arms. Okay, so with men-at-arms under control here, that of course finishes up that, and we are currently innovating scootage, and we are currently exposing machicolations. That will be absolutely fine. We're going to have the High Medieval Era wrapped up within probably 50 years. We'll see what that ends up looking like, but for the time being, that looks good. So we'll just bump up our men-at-arms here to boost our, not just on paper, strength, but this is boosting up our real actual strength. We can also get another unit of trebuchets, which would be absolutely great. Let's get that done. And we'll boost up these bowmen. We may want to think about replacing the bowmen at some point with, like, heavy cavalry. Hypothetically, if we were to do that with armored horsemen, they counter archers. So would we have anything that counters skirmishers at that point? No, but we also don't have anything that counters archers right now. So I'm going to destroy this regiment of bowmen. And we're going to get a single regiment of armored horsemen. Just so that we have a wider range of counters here. This ransom is acceptable. And we can extort our subjects, which we will definitely do right now. We can also sell our trivial titles. Why take a little when I can take a lot? Okay, cool. Sure, show in the chic. Okay, that's all looking good. A true friend. Okay, we do need to drop our stress level. I'm keeping an eye on that. For now, we're going to talk to our confidant. Our mind is at ease. We can also lash out. Cool. And we can also potentially call a hunt. That'll do. I don't want to spend additional gold on that, but we can definitely bump up our... Let's see, our trebuchet is here, up to max. And these trebuchets to max. Then the question is, can we afford to max out our armored horsemen? The answer is no, but we can make a little bit of progress on it anyway. So there we go. That's up to size four. Hmm. 63% chance of gaining cash? Sad. It did not happen, but that's okay. So that's fine for now. We return home in disappointment. But we're going to work on our armored horsemen continually here. We need to bump that up, so we're going to have to wait for a little bit before that can get finished. That's fine. We've got other things, other projects that we're waiting on. 
We definitely want to continue to construct over here, but that's getting to the point where this guy should, in theory, be able to construct on his own. So that would be absolutely great. Found holy order. Mm, no, we're not going to do that right now. We can, however, upgrade this smithy, which we're going to do, and then spend the rest of our money on our armored horseman here. There we go. Size 7. So once we get that up to size 12, things will be great. Uh, sure, we'll attend this guy's feast. Hopefully we'll lose some stress, but I kind of doubt it. Hmm. We'll lose some stress there. I like it. That's great. What a great evening. Okay, so we'll bump this size up again, and on the next month's take, we'll be able to take this to size 9. There we go. Cool. Okay. And apparently we became best friends with our wife. Not a bad thing. Not a bad thing at all. So the question then becomes, how long on land grants? I mean, land grants doesn't actually help us. Why would I... I, I was thinking that it was exposed. No, Scootage is exposed. So that would be very good, actually. Six years on that, and then Divine Right eventually? We don't really have claims to press, but sure. We could start fabricating some, though. So one way to do that... Hmm. These are probably on mail only. Yeah. That gets a little complicated to be on mail only for us. But all we actually need is a claim. Okay, I'm just thinking here. What is our strategy going to be on that? I think for the time being, obviously, we're going to take popular figurehead. But for now, that'll be fine. We need to start thinking about how we want to get this empire put together. Because we have a lot of disallowed ways of doing that, right? Let's see. We don't need to go any further south. We've got everything south other than the Kingdom of Sahara that we could possibly need. Okay. Other options. So. We could theoretically arrange a marriage here. Which he would accept. Obviously we can't matrilineal it. But we do something like this. There we go. Then that gives us an in over here. Cool. Hopefully we'll be able to get something done there, and that's going to be a good chunk of this Empire title. Excellent. There's also this over here that uh, we would love to go after, but we currently can't. We'll be getting pretty close. Pretty close indeed. But let's go through and spend some of our gold, since we currently have a decent amount of gold, and we do need to spend it. So, let's see here. Pilgrim's Quarters looks good. We know that everything over here is fine except for this castle. So, we'll get that upgrading. Cool. That's upgrading to level 6. Beautiful. We just don't have windmills. And that's because this guy's the wrong culture. He would actually give this to us. Consider it done. Okay, so this is now under our control. Oh, the county is the wrong culture. I'm dumb. <laughs> That's okay, though. We're going to hand these out. And we're going to hand them out just like this. Cool. So we are going to need to convert that culture. Noted. We've got a lot of cultural conversions that we need to do, actually. And this down here needs to get upgraded to a level 2 keep. We'll get that going. We cannot upgrade this at this time. So, yeah, that's going to take a little bit more time over this way. These are all looking okay for the time being. We can found a holy order. No real point. There's very few locations left up here that aren't maxed out for our tech. 
Like, everything up here is maxed. However, this over here is not. A lot of this is going to be the wrong culture. But that doesn't mean we can't get started on this. These constructions. Look at how much money we have. Oh my. We're also above our domain limit still. Uh, there's one more holding that we need to not hold. Did we inherit something? Yes, this. There we go. Problem solved. Okay, so making our way up through here, this is maxed out for its current maximum tech level. We'll build a desert agriculture level one here. This is wild. But I guess that's because that was a newly built city. Fair enough. We definitely want to construct a city holding out over here. And let's just go through this and get these upgrades all underway. So this is maxed out for its tech level. This can get additional construction done. Lots of additional construction to be done out here. This is maxed almost for its tech level, but we can get that bumped up to a level 3 castle. They do have castle upgrades to level 3 up here. They do not have city upgrades to level 3. Noted. Okay. There we go. So we'll get that all upgrading. And we have lots and lots of cash left. So that won't be too bad. We're going to need to get additional cultural conversions done. But there's only so quickly that we can do that. Hopefully this guy is working on converting up here as well. That would be the ideal. Okay. So we need to get these cultural conversions done as soon as we can. But we also need to get all of this put together. Right? We need to get a lot of upgrades done here. But a lot of them are going to be banked, but or rather locked, behind those cultural conversions. A disillusion faction. That's very rude. Okay. Uh, this is another 21 months. Okay. And of course we can't upgrade this because that is the wrong culture. That is fine. For the moment. So our chancellor... Hang on. Uh, we'll take a look at this in a moment. Our chancellor, we need this guy. And then this is called a war here. So this guy is Sahara. We'll accept this. And we're going to head on over. I think we're just going to send our men at arms and see how they perform on their own. It'll be a good trial for them. This is... Oh, we should very easily win this with just our men at arms, I think. Yeah, our men at arms should be more than sufficient for this. I don't think we're going to have any problem whatsoever there. Cool. So these constructions will be continuing for a while. And we can now invite claimants, which we will definitely do. The question is, who do we get? We'll send out the heralds. And over we go here. Hmm. Where is this duchy? That duchy isn't helpful to us. Okay. We'll see who else we get, if anyone. Okay, this is a sheikdom. That's not helpful to us either. That's up in Iberia. We're not concerned about that. Sure, show this guy in with his 300 gold. That's a lot of gold, actually. For that particular event, that's kind of huge. We'll get additional upgrades going here. What do we got here? This actually is helpful. So this guy, we should recruit to court. Done. Now, we're not going to go after that immediately, but we will soon. Our armies are currently raised. We need to get out of this first. But that gives us something that we can do. So that's excellent. We do get a new Stewardship Lifestyle perk. We'll take Divided Attention, which will give us access to revocation of several of these, which we can go ahead and spend that and then revoke his title. There we go. Apparently, he's now a rival. <laughs> well, he's a rival without any power, so that's not a relevant rival. We'll go ahead and revoke this title as well. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm keeping an eye on these guys. We're going to be walking up over here shortly. This is looking good. Stop wasting my time. I don't want to pay for carts. Actually, we probably could have. We have so much money. But we do need to spend a lot of it still. 
So let's go ahead and upgrade our desert agriculture here. Let's build in desert agriculture here. Nothing to be done in this location at this moment, but we can certainly upgrade these orchards. Okay, and then I'd like to check here. Yeah, this is still the wrong culture. Up over this direction, we can look at spending additional money. Any location that is not currently constructing, but should be. Yes, we can get that keep upgraded. Cool. So that'll do for now, and then we'll hop in over here. We're supposed to be sieging this location. And that siege should go reasonably quickly. They're walking into us here hilariously. This is not going to go well for them. Like, this goes very poorly. Okay. So our siege continues. Cool. 40% war score. Now we're going to head up over here. And we see these guys sieging down here very slowly. They've got 10 trebuchets. Hilarious. We have 240 trebuchets. For the record. So, our revised men-at-arms, semi-revised anyway, are doing very well. Our promote culture task just finished, though, and we definitely, definitely want to continue to promote culture over here. We need to get that going as soon as we can. So, we're going to get these upgrades done soon. That looks good. This is such a fast siege. Does this end the war? This could end the war. It did. Beautiful. So that war is over. We'll disband those troops. And now we need to think about attacking this guy. Unfortunately, he's got good allies. Let's see. That's a county title and a county title. Okay, I think we'll take Tunis here. He's allied with Italy and Burgundy. Okay, noted. That could be complicated for us. Potentially, but we have so much money. I'm thinking about, like, Merc hirings in order to meet the demands here. That's a definite possibility. I want to get these guilds built and anything else up in this region that isn't constructing and that isn't maxed out. No. Okay. So, if we do this, then this is going to be a fairly complicated war, but I think it's okay. We declare that. And then we drop a rally point here. We're going to raise all of our troops here. We are also going to immediately hire in at least two bands of mercenaries. I think I'm going to go for three. So that will help pad out our men-at-arms numbers. That is the plan there, anyway. Oh, we're on speed one. Hang on. Let's bump that up. No wonder things were feeling remarkably slow there. <laughs> and these guys joined the war, as expected. Okay. So we're now going to pop in over here-ish. Actually, we have to land here unless we want to come in, like, over this way, which may end up being our best bet. Let's get some scouting information over here and see where their troops are. Okay, we see some of those troops here. They're going into Tunis. So we're going to land here, unopposed, where hopefully we can have this recently disembarked penalty go away pretty quickly. We'll siege this down. And they're not making any move to contest this. So we're going to walk in here. They are also recently disembarked. We're going to siege this. Recent disembarkment has left. Now we go in and fight them here. This seems pretty free. Yeah, this is free. This is just free. Beautiful. 
So we win that. This will give us ticking war score. Cool. And now we want to head over this direction. And we're going to finish off this siege. Now, they may be... Oh, they're walking back this way. That's intriguing. I'm not sure what their plan is here. This is not going to go well for them. I'm going to let them walk in, and we're just going to fight them here. Why would they think that this is a good idea? That's very confusing. War's over. So we're just going to enforce our demands here. And disband our troops. Cool. Now this guy is the wrong culture. So we'd like to immediately revoke his title. Unfortunately, actually we can do that right now. Done. Title revocation complete. Then we're going to grant that over to someone who's the correct culture. Perfect. And hopefully he'll work on converting that over. Now, we also need to construct a holding here. So we'll immediately begin work on constructing a city holding. We will also work on upgrading this castle. This castle can also get upgraded. This city cannot get upgraded beyond level three. We can build hunter stables here, though. And that's looking good. Cool. So there's a little bit of expansion there. Heavy on the little. But it'll do. It'll do. That disillusion faction is pretty hilarious. And do we still have this guy in our court to press claims? No, we don't. Okay. Noted. That's fine. I'm not too concerned about that. So we're going to pop down over here and look for additional upgrades. We definitely want to get farms and fields in here. So we'll get that going. And then we can get an upgrade on these weavers. That looks great. This ransom is acceptable. And we can extort our subjects as well. Now, where are my loyal subjects? Don't worry. I'll have everyone pay. Okay, so we're going to hop down over this way and just invest in these guilds. Double checking. Yep, we can't construct here still. I still don't know why, but whatever. It's fine. Not all that relevant, to be honest. And here we just need some cash. So we'll get this camel market going. That's maxed. And then over here, we're just going to need this copying chamber. So that's two months away from getting that copying chamber done. We're getting very close to having this region completely upgraded. It does take a lot of time. No doubt about that. Maxing these areas out is expensive. And more than that, it it's very long term. It takes a while to construct. That's for sure. We do get a new stewardship lifestyle perk, and that will be architect. Looks good to me. Cool. So this castle can be upgraded to level three. And we gain 97 stress here. That does increase our income, which isn't the worst thing. I would definitely like to lose a little bit of stress and get this concentric castle upgrading. Cool. Sure, we'll pay the royal court a visit, and we'll speak well with this guy. Okay. That all looks good. And I'd love to get this upgraded to level 3, but of course that's not a possibility. We can get this camel re-upgraded, though, and that mosque is now maxed out for its tech level. So that's all looking good. This castle to level 3 is a pretty big deal. We were poisoned at that feast. Well, that's unfortunate. I was definitely not expecting to die there. Did we lose anything of note? The answer is remarkably no. Okay, so that's all good. We definitely need a high stewardship spouse. And that will be her, who is the best that we can get. Unfortunately, we've apparently acquired club-footed. Which isn't ideal. But it'll be fine for now. So we'll get that done. We should certainly choose a stewardship lifestyle here. We're going to go for, I think, still wealth focus. So we'll do that. And we have a dangerous faction. That's unsurprising. We do need to put in a chancellor, a marshal, a spy master. There we go. And we have no player heir right now. So secondary spouses are definitely something that we can do here. 
Who is this? Oh, that's this guy. I don't think we want to join that family, to be honest. He's got a lot of problems right now. So we're just going to look for people who have good congenital traits here. And that'll be perfect. Uh, there we go. Cool. So that should get that no player error problem dealt with. We should extend an invitation to claimants. And the question is, will this Liberty Faction actually be a thing? To be honest, I'm not sure it will. So we're going to need to get our wife onto Managing Domain. And that, of course, means that we still do have to hand out a number of these castles. For the moment, that's fine. We'll get that upgraded and then grant that out. We'll grant this barony out as well as Tanagra here. Perfect. Okay. So no problem there. And the question is, is this Liberty Faction going to fire? I think the answer is yes. What are these guys angry about? Fair enough. Primarily opinion of predecessor. <laughs> that makes sense. That makes sense. So that's fine. I'm honestly not too concerned about it. Hmm. We can bump up our stress level here. That's fine. Our purple girdle has low durability. We'll go ahead and repair it. And we have too many held duchies as well. That is definitely something that we want to handle. So we have this emirate. Which we do need to hand back out. And that'll go to this fine gentleman right here. De jure. So that is this emirate. Done. So that was a big part of the reason why people were very angry. In fact, this is no longer a problem now that we've handed that out. Yeah, let's be athletic. That looks good. Cool. So that is fine. That seems like a relatively clean succession, all things considered. I'm very, very pleased about that and slightly surprised. But it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to continue our expansion. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including Kazerol, ALS Gamer, Kentuin, James, Shadowwolf, Mlohan80, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Video Games Are Not Real, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Unisil, Kadra, Ro Rogue Corvid, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.